Hello everyone, Flick here and welcome to a little bit of a strange unboxing, uh, uh, an abnormal unboxing for miniatures. This is something I picked up a little while ago but it took a long time to arrive and in these string tied laser cut MDF little boxes we have the grey area of the miniatures market. This is from Russia and it is miniatures of a franchise that miniatures do not exist of. So it's kind of like it's a... It's not fully grey area, but it's leaning towards grey. Anyway, picked this up, finally arrived, Covid slowed things down, not just because of the post but getting produced. We're going to have a look, see what kind of quality we have in the Overlookers bundle, to give you a hint. So I'm going to cut this open with right handed scissors in my left hand because that's how I roll. So there's one. And there is the other. Done, done, and done. Let's go with this one first. How does one open it? There we go. Oh, okay. It's actually kind of neat seeing these laser cut. So we have some, what do you call it, 40mm bases? 60mm? So apologies for the paint on my hand. I was painting when this arrived. So we have two, that's 35mm bases and one 40mm right there. For what is inside. Oh, that is much better quality than I was expecting. <laughs> Not to be uh, rude. Now it might be a bit hard to tell what this one is, so I don't think I'll bother taking this one out of the bag. This, I don't remember his legally distinct name, so I'm just going to have to go with his real one. This is Torbjorn. I was not expecting him to be in that many bits, so he comes with this turret. It's easier to see though, we crack this one up, oh, and we'll drop it, we crack this one open. Who we've got inside. We have ourselves a not Reinhardt. And yeah, I was I'm, I was expecting the quality to be much worse. That's really, really good. I'm not sure how it will take to the contrast. But yeah, so the Overlookers bundle is Overwatch characters in miniature form. I used to play a lot of Overwatch. My gaming channel had a brief stint of popularity based on the game as well. So it's near and dear to my heart and I would have loved little miniatures. There's no official ones, so you've got to go to the Russian grey market. Yeah, that quality is really nice. So this is a character that just got added after I finished playing, or just as I finished playing it. This is Bob. And I believe Bob is like Ash's alt. Again, really, really good quality. Looks like the lines are good for lining up. More or less. That one had a bit of flash on it. No, oh, this one's got a little bit of flash on it as well, unless there's alternatives. Yeah, you're gonna have to clean that a little bit. There's a little bit of miss, um, it's a little bit of miss sculpt there. But again, quality is good. Torbjorn, again, he's in so many bits, I ain't opening that. <laughs> but that'll be like Reinhardt's base, Bob's base, and Torbjorn's base, and I guess his turret doesn't get a base. So that's one lot. Put Bob over here, keep their parts together. And Reinhardt over here. I'm not sure if that's a... Uh, an actual part or just flash. Keep it just in case. There ain't any assembly instructions, so we crack open this one. Oh. Okay, there's a lot more smaller minis in here. Nope. That may be the, the, the turret space actually. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of that size of base. So we crack this open. That again is going to be quite hard to see, but that is Zenyatta. Uh, it seems in focus. Zenyatta on a plinth, so he can be levitating. This is... who is this? This is May. <laughs> Although it's just her lower torso. Oh, that's weird. There's May's lower torso and there's the rest of her in bits. I, I wasn't expecting it. I was, because I thought they were basically like cheaply made 3D printed. I was expecting them to come assembled. I'm actually surprised they're in so many bits. We also have Tracer, I think. Yep, Tracer. Again, head detached, one arm detached, but her body's essentially there. Then we've got... That's McCree for sure. I'm glad that it's sort of getting in focus despite being in a bag. Because again, so many bits. He even has the Banff on his 
or whatever it was. <laughs> it looks like it says something else there. No, no, it does say Banff. Then we have Reaper. Excellent quality. Like, if Russian recasters can make miniatures with this good quality looking plastic slash resin, there was resin. Why can't night models? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Either way, we can take that one out and have a look. That he's not in many bits. That, that looked good to me. Yeah, there we are. Again, that, that is great quality. Apologies for all the paint on my fingers. I was not expecting this to arrive. I'd totally forgotten about it partially. I was knee deep in painting the thing and covered in paint. And then, two more, two more. This is, oh, this is Ash. Again, she just got added after I finished playing, so come on. She goes with Bob. And then last but not least, I think, yep. Uh, oh, this is an alternative McCree sculpt, I think. In one of his other costumes, I believe. Yeah, typically after I bought this, they added Junkrat and Roadhog, or what their, whatever their parody names are, to the box and just increased the price by $10, so I missed out on those. They don't do like a Genji or a Hanzo yet, which is a shame. I wouldn't mind like the original lineup to Overwatch. But these are, these are weird anomalies that are going to be seen in like getting stuff painted videos, maybe painted videos just for fun, because I thought it'd be neat. If you do decide to order from Klukva Miniatures, bear in mind delivery will take a while. They're they're backlogged because of COVID as well. But I am genuinely surprised at that the quality of these miniatures. They are much better than I was expecting. Much, much better. They feel very similar to um, Monolith, not Monolith. Modifius's miniatures, so I'm not sure contrast is going to do well with them. But that's okay, the quality of the sculpt is there, and that's the important part. So, thank you for watching this oddball little unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the future for some more. Ta for now.